Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In 1997, uh, November, I think it was uh, seven, uh, so the first week of the November, 1997, I don't know how many years back, it's not too far uh, behind. Um, some of us, a small group, we landed in the Ben Gurion Airport, Tel Aviv. All right? Mm -hmm. Tel Aviv. How many have been there? You've been there? Have you heard about it? It's right uh, in the heart of Israel, a beautiful country, a promised land for a small nomadic group led by one father, a father of faith, a father who was a friend of God, who was known, uh, made uh, righteous because of his faith. None other than Abraham or Abraham, right? Abraham. Uh, when we just landed and the, the officers, uh, the officers and the guide, you know, that they're all just, the first word we hear, greeting word is Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. It's not just one word uh, denoting something simple. It's a very a term that denotes so many things, are pregnant with meaning. Uh, not only peace, not only peace. It is a holistic health, a well-being, tranquility, uh, the presence of God, the promises of God, uh, fulfilled and yet to be fulfilled, near and far, the prophetic word of God, everything coming into fruition. That is Shalom. Shalom. My heart was just, wow, so glad, warmed, warmed, and enjoyed that warm. But on the other end, there were explosions. There were ambulances. Where, 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 where? We do not know where a bomb will land or a missile will land or explode. A human a suicide bomber would kill himself or herself. These are the perfect combination of both fear and, uh, you know, the joy of God's presence. Both light and darkness mixed up, messed up. And that is the cross section of the entire universe, the world right now, we are living in. We are both happy and sad. We are both uh, well off at the same time impoverished. We are both well fed up or well fed at the same time hungry. We are just with mixed feelings. What's happening? What on earth Christ is doing today? And how we are going to celebrate his birth? Years are rolling like rolling stones thousands of years but today is Christmas has the same meaning as the angels said appeared to Zechariah in Luke chapter 1 1 he says fear not there are three fear I'm talk, going to talk about fear not when he says shalom fear not removes the fear of light many people think we only fear darkness but many some people fear light because we are so Comfortable in our comfort zone, in our you know dim lights are you know as good as no light. We are comfortable. We are happy. We are cozy. But when the light shines, the light of God, when the presence of God comes, our hearts tremble. Our hearts are troubled. In John chapter fourteen, verse one, Jesus told his disciples, "Fear not. Let your hearts not be be not troubled." Believe in me. Believe also in the Father God who sent me here. So Christ came with a purpose. And today we have to remember him, his birthday, with a purpose. And today the, it has lost its meaning. The original meaning, the originality. And sans Christ, without Christ, we have everything, all fun and frolic. Everything is like commercialized today. But so first of all, do you have the fear of light? Jesus said, I am the light of the world. And you are the light of the world too. That's what Jesus said. Because we are children of God, created in His image and bought and ransomed by His own blood of the Lamb of God. Jesus died for you and I. So above all, He took the fall, thinking of you, thinking of me. Above all the kings, He was not bothered about the British Queen. He was not bothered about the slavery in Africa or India. He was not bothered about the who's the next president or the former president he is worried about you and me and the poorest of the poor people 
above all powers, above all kingdoms, above all that is so wonderful, the seven great wonders of the world has ever known, you were here. No? Who can? Who can measure? There is no way to measure your worth. Worthy is the man of God because he thought of you and took the fall above all things. You are so precious. Not only the sparrow, not only the grass, not only the wild flowers. You are precious. That's why Jesus came to seek the save, to seek and save the lost, the least and the last ones, like you and I. So we need to remove the fear away from us. Welcome the light into our life. Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. Come into me. Reign in me, O oh Lord. Reign in my family. Reign in this uh, inn or in this wonderful box place. Huh? A wonderful a community of faith. Reign, Lord. We need you. We need the light. We need enlightenment. Hallelujah. The second thing he says, no, do not fear. He removes the darkness. Don't, some people are worried about darkness. We are afraid to go into the darkness. And when Jesus shines, he is with you. Emmanuel, God with us. We sang the first song, O come, O come, Emmanuel. You are the light of the world. The daybreak has come from heaven. That's what Zachariah sings, filled with the Holy Spirit. The daybreak has come into us. So he, when God, the light, is with us, we don't have to fear anything, darkness. Is there any gloomy things in your... Two days ago, it was all totally dark, gloomy, and raining all the time. How many of you felt depressed? No? Uh, you can't do anything when it's so rainy and dark. When the sun shines like this, we don't want to be here. We want to go out, right? Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus removes the fear of darkness from you. The powers of darkness, the fallen angels, the satanic, demonic powers have no power over you. They have no say. Jesus has the last word. He is the risen Lord. He was crucified. He is the risen Lord. So let us remove the fear of darkness. And ask Jesus, come on Lord, give me the strength, give me the courage to, to go into the darkness, to shine, to shine, to outshine the darkness. Each, let each and every one of us be the candle. When, when we are lit, when we shine, the darkness is automatically dispelled, right? When you announce the kingdom of God, you denounce indirectly, knowingly or unknowingly, we denounce the kingdom of the fallen angels, the powers of darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What about the third thing? And when Zechariah says, those who are living in darkness, in the fear of death, they have seen a great light. 